It is a brand new type of test just approved by the FDA that seems to more accurately detect whether you've previously been infected with COVID-19. This test uses what are called T cells, part of your body's immune response. The doctor who runs local clinics for patients with long term symptoms tells our Courtney Friedman that this type of test could be a game changer. Thousands of people nationwide are suffering from debilitating symptoms believed to be long term effects of COVID-19. Fatigue is one of the major issues, shortness of breath. They may have dizziness, headaches joint aches and pains, and they can have abnormal symptoms with their heart rate. Dr. Monica Verdusco Gutierrez runs the clinics at University Health and UT Health San Antonio for COVID-19 long haulers, patients with these strange lingering symptoms. Most of them were mild cases. I would say that in our clinic, about 75% of patients were never hospitalized. Meaning many of the patients never actually tested positive for COVID-19. Dr. Gutierrez and her colleagues have been relying on antibody tests, but she says accuracy varies, which is why she was thrilled that the FDA just approved this T-Detect COVID test, a brand new technology developed by the company Adaptive Biotechnologies using T-cells, the immune system's black boxes of information. They're able to remember old viruses that you fought, and so this test can go through all the history of T-cells that we have and find if you had COVID-19 or not even if it was way in the past. The only concern right now is accessibility. You can only get the test directly through the company and it costs $150. Are you going to have access to this? Are you requesting access? It's just broke last week. So it is even us learning. So where can we get it? Where can we order it from? Is it something that we can just order together online with the patient or if I recommend it, give them a prescription? Can they go and you know find the test and order it for themselves? She's hoping to figure that out soon for her hundreds of patients patients who already have so many unanswered questions. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. And tomorrow on KSAT.com, I'll be hosting a live stream focused on parenting in a pandemic. It is our second focused on this very topic. After a year of upheaval in schools, family routines, activities in our social circles, to name a few things. So tomorrow we're helping each other navigate through this, having a conversation with a panel of experts on mental health, education, tech addiction and burnout, so much more. We want to know what questions you have. You can send those questions in or your comments right now by clicking on the Parenting in a Pandemic article on our website at ksat.com and join us online at 2 p.m. tomorrow for that conversation.